In this video, we dive into the creation process of one of Avicii's most famous track, Sky Full of Stars. Join us as we explore the inspiration, the production techniques and the story behind this iconic track that continues to resonate with fans around the world. From the initial spark of creativity to the final mixing and mastering, get an exclusive look at how Avicii brought Sky Full of Stars to life. Don't miss this behind the scenes glimpse into the making of the modern Classic. So let's call Vavici. I showed him the song and said, please could you help? And he said, with his backwards baseball hat, yeah, that'll be $12 million. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. Hello my Beat Minds. Welcome to Beat Minds Deconstruction Part 8. Today we have a behind the scenes look to the hit song A Sky Full of Stars from Avicii and Coldplay, which combines Avicii's signature EDM sound with Martin's heartfelt lyric. Today I'm going to deconstruct and reverse engineer this iconic EDM track to show you the creativity process behind it. I'm very very excited. Let's hop into the DAW and let's go. We start with the core melody, a catchy piano riff that sets the tone for the entire track. The simple yet powerful foundation serves as the backbone of the song, driving the emotion and energy throughout. Here's the sustain pedal. Being filtered down. This is where the vocal starts. We have a Nexus dance piano, just slightly EQ, another EQ, Valhalla room, and a little compression. So now it's filtered down, the vocal hits. Piano stays the same, now we have tambourines coming in. and an impact. Then the MIDI changes. Now it's the chords of the piano, which also played in a drop. MIDI looks different. Filtering up. Back to the old MIDI, and now again the advanced one. And the first chord synth came in. So then we hit the drop. I would say we start with the drums. We have a kick drum, sample, just a little EQ. We have a clap. Just an EQ, another clap, pre-shifted one, also just an EQ, and the tambourines. And that's it for the drums. Let's go to the sub bass now. It sounds like this. It's just one saw tooth. Filter down, EQ'd, a little boost here in the mids, settle for saturation, and a kickstart for light shape. The MIDI looks like this. Then we have the drop piano, that's actually almost the same, it's just slightly different EQ'd. We have a little less low end, it sounds like this. We have side shape. Next, we layer the pulsating synths that give Sky Full of Stars its signature sound. These elements add depth and texture, creating a dynamic and immersive listening experience for the audience. The only purpose of the synths is to support the piano, so they're quite in the background. We have a few different synths here. We start with the chords attack. 
Nexus patch, just an EQ, giving the attack a little to the piano. Then we have another attack chords. And we have the main chords, giving a lot of high end. And chords low. And all together this sounds like this. And together with the piano. Then we go to the main lead. I just call it main lead, um, but in the end it's so much in the background, it's not deserving that name. Anyways, it sounds like that. The Nexus, King of Bass, it's a buzzy lead. We have EQ, Kickstart, and a little fresh air to give it more high end. So the other main lead is the guitar lead, it sounds like this. It's a Nexus patch, the dance guitar. I ran it through the Steinberg amp simulation. Have some soothe, ping pong delay, Valhalla room for reverb, and some fresh air to give it a little high end. An EQ, and this EQ. So the piano and the chords and the lead sound together like this. So and finally for the impact of the drop we have this crash here. And this reward clap. Finally we bring in the atmospheric elements such as the shimmering guitar riff and the ethereal effect that transport the listeners to a celestial realm. So when we enter the second verse we have this synth guitar coming in. That's also a Nexus, the jazzy guitar. Just an EQ and a little fresh air. Then we come to my favorite, the strum guitar here. I really love them. I made them with um, Contacts Picked Acoustic 1 and 2. Rendered it out. I have an EQ here. Bahala Room. Little compression to get the attacks a little way and some fresh air for the high-end sparkle. In the background we have the piano but totally filtered down, giving it a little low end. And then it sounds like this. It's really nice. As we continue, we have this muted guitar coming in. It sounds like this. It's a high on patch. This is a sampler from Cubase. EQ, fresh air, ping pong delay, Valhalla room. As we continue, we have this plug guitar coming in. It's a guitar ballad from Nexus. Together it sounds like this. Piano builds up slowly. Here we have the main chords coming in, filter down. And we have a razor here. I made it myself. Two oscillators, sawtooth, detuned, six forces of unison, longer release, and then we pitch it up here. And we have a little noise. Also really in the background. So, and the drop is almost the same like the first one. We just have this guitar playing. Yeah. 